hi guys welcome back so in today's video I will be showing you how to exclude specific files from being committed to a github repository so let's get to it okay so like I said in this video we will be going through the process of excluding certain files from being committed into your remote repository so assuming you have been working on a number of files making changes uh, either in your main branch dev branch or feature branch whichever branch you're working out of and now it's come to the time of uh, committing or staging these changes into the remote repository but you do not want to push all of the changes into the remote repository you just want to um, add a number of files and exclude others so how do you do that so in this video we will be going through that process so right here um, I'm in my repo this is uh, the repo that I've been working out of uh, this demo repo and we are going to go through the process of how to do that in this demo so here I'm going to check the prank that I currently have and um, I'm working out of this feature branch called a uh, feature demo and uh, this is the the prank that I will be making those changes so what I will do is um, I have these two folders right now and I want to add one uh, file here in this Python folder and another one in SQL DDLs and um, what I will do after that is exclude one of the files from these um, folders from being pushed into the remote uh, repository um, so let's go ahead and do that um, so what I will do is um, uh, again I'm in my feature branch but it doesn't really matter if you just want to work out of main branch and whichever other branch that you're working out of uh, the process should be the same so what I will go um, uh, ahead and do is make sure that I don't have anything currently uh, changed so if I do kit status uh, my branch is clean so then let's go ahead and add a file here so I will say test dot py like that okay so in this test dot py I'll just print um, a line saying uh, test kit exclusion like that doesn't matter um, so this and then I'll save that file okay so I have made this change now on this file and then I will go down here in DDL uh, SQL DDL folder and if you see here I have created a table but uh, we don't have anything else so now assuming I wanted to uh, insert data to this table so I will um, create this uh, file or a script called insert underscore uh, tepo like that dot sql okay and I'm not going to make this script work so I'll just say insert into and the table that we have here is this table okay so I'll copy this put it here like that uh, now generally you know when you're doing your inserts you have to do values and then um, you put your your records here that you want to insert but for this one I'll leave this on blank okay I I just you know this one is not going to work so assuming you know you made this um, change and because you're still working with this file you haven't decided what files you want to insert to this table uh, so you don't want to commit this or push this uh, file into your remote repository so you you only want to push this one here because you know that the, this file is ready to go but this one is not so how do you do that so to do that what you want to do is uh, go back here now in your feature branch and let's check uh, if the changes are, are ready to be to be to be pushed you know what, what changes you've made okay so you've made these changes um, you can see here there are two untracked files uh, one for test.py and this one for insert.tepo.sql so like I said we want to exclude this um, 
and only push this one so to do that there are two ways of doing that okay so the first way is um, a call reset and then the other one is a, a command that excludes this file okay so for the reset what you will want to do is first of all add all the files so what you want to do is do kit add and then dot so this one will add all the files then just click and then if you click now status you will see that these changes are ready to be committed these two okay so now what you want to do after this is uh, reset or basically bring back um, the file that you don't want to uh, to be committed because what happens after this if you don't if you if you if you go ahead and now and commit this is that this all of this um all of these files will be will will be pushed to remote a repository or, or your remote branch um so here like I said we only want to push this and exclude the second one so what you want to do after that is what once you you do kit add then the next step is just reset kit reset so this reset and then the file name that you want to reset so you do just copy that and do that all right so kit reset and then the file name and um you you have to put the the whole file path um so like in this case sql insert dot, dot uh, um insert table dot sql all right so if you have a number of um files that you want to exclude then you just add the other one next to this like that okay and that should work all right so and then just click enter and now if you do kit, kit status you will see that this has been removed and now you can go ahead and push this to your uh, remote branch okay so that's one way of doing you know, that and then the the, the other way uh, of doing this is um, uh, this command so like let's go ahead and uh, and use this and, 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 and I'll go ahead and show you the second step so this is the first way right and then the second one now is um, this command I'll just type it here kit add and then dash dash dot okay and here you specify the file like so so you you you, know, you just you know put this colon and then period basically this means exclude this file and then the file name for this case so let's again do this um, let's do actually because this is already committed let's um, let's go ahead and um, make another change possibly um actually no I'll do one thing I'll do one thing here J just f just bear with me I will do one thing kit status because I just want to show you the second option this has been committed so I will reset both of these files so I will also reset kit reset and I will reset this one as well okay now we have two unstaged files or a yeah two untracked files and now what I want to do is again um, push this but exclude this alright so to do that the command is kit add dash dash and then colon or a period um, dot that is so again this one is dot when you're doing means add everything and now if we go ahead and do this it's going to add both of these files but we again want to exclude uh, this file here from being committed so the specification for that is um, you specify the file so that is uh, colon and then exclamation mark and then the name of the file which is right here like so and then close it okay so again just make note of this this is how you do it um, kit add dash dash and then dot or period and then uh, you specify the name of the file but now before the name of the file you have to put this uh, colon and then exclamation mark which means you are excluding this file right here and uh, it is the same thing if you have several of them you just do the same thing here copy it and then put next to it 
and uh, this will this will exclude these files so now if you enter and do kit status you will see that uh, now only the python uh, dot test uh, dot py file is the one that has been staked to be committed okay so uh, and then you can go ahead and push this so i'm not going to push this i just wanted to show you how you can exclude uh, certain files from being pushed into your uh, remote repository uh, again if you if you wanted to proceed now you can just do git push and then um, this will push your file to your remote branch um, but yeah this is the process of um, excluding certain or specific files from being pushed uh, or, or uh, um, yeah, I mean yeah from being committed into your remote repository so um, it took me a little bit of time to find this uh, but I hope this is helpful if you are looking for something like this um, if you have not subscribed to the channel please uh, take a second and uh, subscribe to the channel again if you like this video give it a thumbs up and uh, do share with your friends as well and uh, please ask them to subscribe to the channel because um, that's how the channel can grow um, but yeah that's what I wanted to show you guys today I hope that was helpful. Bye-bye.